Though you were told you would never walk, you defied expectations. What personal qualities do you credit to this achievement? Um, oh, wow. What personal qualities do I credit to this achievement? Um, firstly, um, I would say I'm a very resilient resilient person. Um, I never I never take no as, a, as an answer. Um, and I believe that the only person that can tell me I can't do things um, is me. Um, and, and so regardless of what people say, uh, I, I make my own decisions um, and uh, I thrive off, off negative criticism. So if someone told me I couldn't do something, I, I do my utmost to, to, prove, them, to prove them wrong. Um, I would say with my, with my condition, I've been a great uh, problem solver <laughs> over, over the years, um, always trying to find ways of getting out of situations or overcoming certain obstacles. It could be the, the most difficult of obstacles to, to the most simplest of obstacles, such as you know, maybe carrying a bowl of cereal to, to your desk and not spilling it. Um, and, uh, and so, I, I don't know, I think I have many, many qualities. Uh, I don't like talking about myself, believe it or not, even though I am a speaker and I have to talk about myself. Um, but, uh, but no, I, I'm, I'm very proud of, of what I've, I've, I've achieved, what I've overcome. Um, I'm a very solid, solid human. Um, it's not always been that easy. Um, I've had a lot of ups and downs, um, but I think generally, you know, or yeah, generally, I would say I would say resilience is is everything for me. And um, yeah, I'm proud of, of, of what I've achieved, as I said, and hopefully uh, there's more more to come from me uh, in the future. You have fought more battles than the average person being born with cerebral palsy. Do you believe this fighting spirit has given you an edge in motorsports and your other business ventures? It's given me, um, I would say, more of an understanding um, in terms of um, dealing with with pressure, um, dealing with failure as well, um, and and you know when when it comes to to, to sport, um, you know you can't always triumph. Um, there is also you know very uh, difficult down days, um, but with with my condition, um, not everything's been a bed of roses for me. So I'm I'm sort of used to having tougher days than others, um, and, and and overcoming those days. Um, and being able to tell people about them and be able to sort of live to tell the tale as such. Um, so I wouldn't say it's, it's given me any type of benefit in terms of, of, of motorsport. Um, but, uh, you know, I always feel that my, my condition has, has made me who I am. It doesn't define me, um, but it, it, it makes me the, the strong person that I am today. And, you know, I went through a, a period of my life where I, I hated, I hated life. I hated my condition. I didn't understand why I was the way I was and why I was given my, my condition and why I couldn't be like my, my friends who were all able-bodied. Uh, but now I wouldn't change it for the world. And I'm so grateful um, to, to have it. Um, and I try and, as I say, always is just, you know, play with the, the, the cards I've been dealt in the best way possible. Um, and so I strive every day. Um, to overcome any barrier that comes in front of me. Um, it could be, as I said, the smallest or, or, or the biggest of barriers, um, but I tackle them each the same. You launched the world's first racing academy for people with disabilities. What does this mean for the disabled community and representation in motorsports? Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's vital. Um, I think uh, disability in sport is super, super important. Um, sport can bring a lot of people together. Um, mm. It can also um, show disabled people what is possible. Um, and, and having the, the opportunity to get involved in any type of sport um, is, I think, a, a, key, um, a key opportunity for everybody to have. And um, with, this, with this, uh, this initiative that I helped with, um, you know, it was to, to give disabled people an equal opportunity, an opportunity that they feel that maybe they, they would never be able to have um, normally. Um, and I'm glad that I was able to, to at least help with that um, because I feel that, you know, um, every person um, who, who has a dream or a desire um, has, has the right and the opportunity to, um, you know, succeed. And, uh, you know, if I can help by giving them a platform um, to achieve that goal or that target or, or that dream, um, then I've done my job. As motorsports is such a high pressure career, how do you protect your mental health? Uh, with great difficulty, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, mental health, I believe, is, is, is everything. Uh, 
the way I like to think about it is, is life is, is 90% mental and 10% physical. It doesn't really matter how physically fit you are um, and strong you are. If, if you're not, you know, there mentally, if you don't believe in yourself mentally, um, then I, I personally believe that you're never going to achieve your full potential. Um, now I would say um, mental health is a, is a, is a trial and error situation um it's all about working out what what works for you um sometimes what people tell you would work sometimes doesn't and and what works for others doesn't necessarily work for you personally so um how, how i i go about to try and um build myself mentally is trying to find ways that i know help me um and and sort of stay true to to my vision um to my desire and and also i think um what a key thing of of overcoming a bit of uh, mental toughness and, and and struggles is um, going through failure as well. I think failure is is also very key. You got to learn how to fail before you can succeed. Almost is is how I feel. Um, and so with every failure I have, I feel like I only get stronger and stronger. And my have I had a lot of failures? Um, and I think that's sort of what's made me who the the person I am today. Um, but it's it's a never ending. Um, it's a never ending journey. And uh, with every day that goes past, uh, you know, you learn something new uh, about yourself. So uh, I love mental health. I think it's super, super important. And there's a lot of people that shy away from it. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to in my sessions as well, try to 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 be open about it and um, tell people it's OK to 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 not be OK sometimes. And it's OK to, to talk to people, ask for help because um, you never know where, where they can help you.